Hey Sevens, it's me again. I'm here for a third week um, and this time I'm going to go away from the drawing as such. You might do a little bit of sketching just for something to colour in, of course. Um, but we're going to look at how to add some colour and make it look more realistic, make it look better, all time improving your skills. So the most you're going to need today uh, for this lesson is some coloured pencils. You can even use a normal pencil if you want to just shade using a normal HB pencil that you've probably got at home. Uh, obviously a bit of paper. If you do have a printer, I am including a um, small um, page of shapes that you can use and, and to shade into if that's what you want to do. So the option is there if you want it, but it's just as easy doing the drawing. And what you'll see in my video is I've just done some drawing first and then coloured that in. So we're going to look at adding colour, shading, rendering, and then obviously continuing to improve our presentation skills. Here's what I'm looking for you to do then. So aims just to develop shading colour skills, to try shading some curved objects. So you'll see me doing a, a sphere in this video and to add uh, shadow and create the illusion of depth. OK, so you're going to see that and then you're going to give it a go. So it's exactly what we've done last uh, couple of times. But we're going to try it again. Outcome then is you've tried to shade a basic shape using this technique. And you've tried shading in a, a 3D shape and you've tried to add a bit of shadow to the shape as well. Um, the last one, again, it's optional, but if you wanted to take it further and get out one of those drawings that you did for me last time and add some shading to that one using your newfound skill, then please feel free to do so. Now, I did say to you I was going to add some shading um, to some of the drawings that I did, uh, like the frog or the robot, and I am in the process of doing it. But of course, if you want to do a good job of these things, you don't just uh, do it really, really quickly. I'm taking my time to make sure it looks nice because I don't want to... Um, Come on here telling you how to do things and then rush a job and not do a good job of it so hopefully um within this week you will see a really nice some really nice examples of uh, shading and how we can shade using pencils so let's have a look at the first video just before we get that that is an example of the uh, sheet that i was going to that i have put in files if you wanted to print off and color that one in that's absolutely fine but like i say if you wanted to just draw it then add the color that's not, that's also absolutely fine. So just shading shapes. So all I'm going to do, I'm not going to shade every one of these on here. I'm just going to show you how to do the square very, very quickly. So let's have a look how I do this. So very similar to the um, sheet that I did before. I did my practicing with the lines and obviously I drew some shapes and then I moved on to a few 3D shapes, as you can see on there. But I'm just going to do a very, very quick video here of me just shading in the square. So let's have a look at how I'm doing it. Yep. So it's really important that, um, first of all, you you shading in the same direction. You're going one way. You're not cutting across. There is a, uh, a skill called cross hatching that is really effective. But for this, we're just going to just have a go at um, just um, getting it right. So it's really simple, really easy. All I'm doing is putting pressure on the pencil to start with. And then as I'm moving along, I'm taking the pressure off. OK, so that's how you get from your dark to light it's really simple not difficult i'm doing it on a bit of scrap paper so it doesn't matter if i got it wrong so this is the thing that i keep emphasizing to you don't don't just uh worry about not getting it right first time the way you get better at drawing rendering making your things look good is just by going for it so if it goes wrong you throw it away you get another piece of paper okay so just give that a try so that's my little bit of shading if you wanted to go back on this video see me do it again that's absolutely fine um, see how you get on. So that's the first one. The next one is how to create uh, a circle or shade a circle. So I've drawn a circle on this bit of paper. I'm going to press play and show you how I'm working around it. So I'm going to press play. I have to make it quiet as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my pencil now and I'm going to start from one side of the um, circle to the other. Pressing down hard to start with. So as you can see. Now, just like when I did the drawing earlier on in the first video, you remember me saying about moving the paper around? So if you look, my hand is actually pretty much staying in the same position and I'm just going from pushing down hard start and taking the pressure off as I'm going around. So I'm just moving my way around, pressing down and getting lighter. So this is almost where you can see the cross hatching effect in place. And what I'll do as I, as I work my way around is just uh, start smoothing that off. So again, I've moved the paper around. My hand is pretty much staying in the same place. Press hard to start, and as I work around, take the pressure off. 
as I'm moving around this bit, because I want to create the illusion that it is, it is like a sphere, um, I'm leaving an area white, so it looks like there's a bit of a, um, a light source just there. So obviously if you've got a light source at the top, then you're going to need to put a bit of shadow underneath that you'll see in a moment. So I'm just working my way around again, pressing down hard, and again, and taking the pressure off. Okay, obviously, if I was to do this video, um, or to do this and finish this off, it, I'd take a lot longer to get it absolutely right. I'm just showing you the main process that you can see here. Okay, so now I'm just going to add a bit of shadow. So I've got a black pen there, and I'll just put that in. And I'm going to use exactly the same process again. So press down hard to start with. And then as I get towards the end, just take the pressure off to create that effect. Okay, so there's my little sphere. Um, so it's, again, a case of you just having a look at the video, um, getting out your pencils and having a go. Then, um, once you've done that, posting your beautiful work for me, either me or other teachers to see um, and to give you feedback on. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do for me and I'm looking forward to uh, also get my shading done so that I can show you those. So keep an eye out on uh, your um, posts this week because I will uh, post them up as soon as I can and let uh, let other teachers as well have those so that they can see my examples as well to see that I'm I'm working hard to improve my skills just the same as you are. So until next week when I come up with another drawing um, drawing task for you, I'll um, I'm going to call it a day and I will see you next week. Take care.